Hi, I'm Danner. I'm a computer engineering student from Huntsville, Alabama. When I was a kid, my family built this shed in the hills of southern Tennessee. It sat dormant for nearly 20 years and began to deteriorate. I'm currently on a mission to restore the shed and convert it into an amazing tiny house. With the help of my dad, I'm learning the basics of construction, restoring the land, and documenting our story. This is Abandoned Shed to Tiny House. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you saw the last video we put up our rain and ice guard, the big sticker on top of the roof. That was actually probably one of the most fun things uh, we've done so far just because it was just like so satisfying. It just went perfect. We got it done in a day. It is hanging over a little bit right now. Uh, we're gonna trim it but we have a fascia and drip ledge to put up so we're just gonna hold off on that for right now but we did have a storm come in and all the water beaded right off of it. No water got underneath and it was just awesome as far as repelling water goes. Today what we're gonna be doing is putting on the sheathing on the walls. It seems like it's gonna be pretty easy. I think we're just gonna hold up sheathing, nail it in and repeat. So I think once we figure out the system with that, it should go pretty quick and hopefully it's not too hard. We were kind of thinking about getting the zip sheathing, but they were actually sold out of it everywhere around us and we were kind of looking at the price and it was way more expensive than just doing OSB. So what we're going to be doing is putting up OSB and then doing the Tyvek wrap around it. It seems like there's some strong opinions on Tyvek versus Zip, but we aren't really too worried about it. We're just going to do Tyvek and I'm sure it's going to be fine. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that. We already finished off all the corners and it should just be ready to nail on. So let's go ahead and start installing our sheathing. Okay, so we've put three up so far, and I would say the hardest part is what's da what Dad is doing, and that is just lifting it up and holding it up there. I'm kind of trying to help by holding it with one hand and shoot it in, but one thing we're going through really fast is nails, and lucky for us, today we were over at my Mimi's house, to my grandmother, and we found stashed away in her garage this box of framing nails. And these actually belong to uh, Papa, my grandpa. I mentioned in one of the videos that he was in construction and these are some of his nails that were left behind. And I just thought it was kind of cool that now we're gonna get to give these nails new life and they're gonna be in the shed forever. So that's the nails we're using to put up the sheathing. And yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool, worth sharing.
Okay, so we just wrapped up with our first two walls. Overall, not too bad. There were a few places where I didn't hit the stud as usual. Um, I'm not perfect with the framing nailer, but I do think I'm getting better. One time we had to pull down one, realign it. It's, it's honestly not perfect, so don't get the camera too close, uh, but I think it's gonna work. We're gonna be able to, if there's any gaps anywhere, we'll just be able to fill it in with some caulk or some foam and I think it'll be good. I wish we could have gotten a little bit more done today, but we're gonna come back tomorrow in the morning and we should be able to finish off the kitchen. I think we have enough OSB to do the rest. Yeah, then we'll be really close to be able to put some Tyvek on. So we're gonna come back in the morning and get started on the kitchen and we'll go from there. Just like that, it's the next morning and we've been having some amazing weather here. I know for some of you it's starting to get cold already, but here in Tennessee, it is just the perfect working weather. And it's kind of hard to have an appreciation for that until you're working in 100 degree, very humid weather during the summer. So we are very thankful to be working in this beautiful weather today. And like I say, we're gonna be continuing the sheathing. We're gonna be putting up nine pieces of OSB and we're gonna be leaving a gap on each side because we still have um, some headers to put in. We just wanna leave it open so it's easy to get it in there until all of that's fixed and then we'll put that on. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the sheathing. Okay, so we just wrapped up with our sheathing on the kitchen side and overall it wasn't that bad. I think it was worse than the shop side just because the on the shop side we had consistent space studs and on this side we had all the windows and that became a challenge just to figure out where the studs were. We hit a few more nails through and didn't hit the stud than we wanted to but we fixed it. Also one place the OSB just didn't line up and we had to add in a stud but it wasn't a big deal. We actually ended up filling in the rest of the front and we just left a little access hole in the back so that we can pull in the header. Definitely challenging. Not too bad, but it's probably not something I would want to do every day. I guess the good thing is we got it done and now we're going to get to move on to more fun things. But it's great to finally be dried in so that every day is a work day. We can just work rain or shine. So that part of it, really good. And it just looks great. We're really happy with how it looks and just excited to keep moving forward with this project. All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Thank you to everyone who has watched and subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video.